Fears of a widespread outbreak of COVID-19 continues. The global risk is very high. We increased it from high to very high. With the World Health Organization reaffirming its warning that the fast-spreading virus could soon reach every country in the world. Since yesterday, Denmark, Estonia, Lithuania, Netherlands and Nigeria have all reported their first cases. All these cases have links to Italy. More than 83,000 cases of the coronavirus has been confirmed worldwide with infections reported in every continent except Antarctica. So far, the WHO says 2,800 people have been killed by the virus. It's serious, it's dangerous, but at the same time, there is still a one window of opportunity, although it's narrowing more and more by the day, and where all the strategies we use, starting from containment, can actually work. Hopes the coronavirus would be contained to China have vanished as 60 countries have reported cases of COVID-19, including in sub-Saharan Africa, after an Italian man who contracted the virus traveled to Nigeria. With the continuing flow of travelers and poorly resourced health care systems, health officials warn the risk of an outbreak across Africa draws massive concern. The key to containing this virus is to break the chain of transmission. So it is about being ready. It is about a robust and aggressive um, response very, very quickly. The majority of cases have been reported in China, where the epidemic started at the end of last year. China's National Health Commission says as of today, an additional 327 people contracted the virus with an added 44 deaths nationwide. These new numbers now the lowest daily figures in more than a month. Containing the virus and interrupting transmission gives us an opportunity to stop the virus. But what it's clearly doing, as you've seen in China and Singapore, it's slowing the virus down and allowing us to get ready to prepare. According to the World Health Organization, for the first time, South Korea's daily increase surpassed that of mainland China with 571 new cases, bringing the total number of infections to 2,337. Amid the rapid rise, the South Korean government introducing a drive through sampling approach in multiple cities in an attempt to screen and contain possible cases. Well, the World Health Organization says there are dozens of coronavirus vaccines in development and they are being studied across the globe. They also say they should be ready for testing in the next few weeks. For City News, I'm Melissa Nakavali.